Is it alcohol? Is it marijuana? Is it cocaine? Is it pills? It has been, at times. All? At times. Living the Hollywood lifestyle seems like pure enjoyment, but oftentimes, celebrities find themselves tangled in the dark world of drug addiction, unable to escape their struggles. The actor Heath Ledger was found dead today in an apartment here in New York City. He was just 28 years old. Join us as we talk about the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history, from your favorite actors to the most famous models. 20. Charlie Sheen If you were a fan of Two and a Half Men, you likely remember Charlie Sheen's wild antics both on and off screen. The Hollywood actor, known for his charming demeanor and impressive acting chops, unfortunately also gained a reputation as one of the worst drug addicts in Tinseltown. Despite his tumultuous personal life, Charlie found success early in his career, starring in iconic films like Red Dawn and Platoon. But it was his role as Charlie Harper on Two and a Half Men that catapulted him to stardom, earning him record-breaking paychecks and critical acclaim. However, Charlie's Hollywood journey took a dark turn when his addiction issues became increasingly public. From his infamous meltdown in 2011 to his multiple stints in rehab, Charlie's struggles with substance addiction often overshadowed his talent and charisma. Despite his setbacks, Charlie's fans remained loyal, cheering him on as he worked towards recovery. 19. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston won all our hearts with her most famous song, I Will Always Love You. However, behind the scenes of her glittering career lay a darker reality. She struggled with addiction, becoming one of the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history. Despite her immense talent, Whitney's personal battles with drugs and alcohol were well documented, leading to a tragic end at just 48 years old. She accidentally drowned due to heart disease and the effects of using cocaine. Whitney experienced psychological distress due to the pressure to uphold her image as a princess, which led her to turn to drugs for comfort. Even as she soared to stardom, the real Whitney felt stifled by the expectations imposed on her by Hollywood executives. Behind the scenes, she grappled with insecurities and personal struggles, using drugs as a means of escape from the relentless scrutiny of fame. Is it alcohol? Is it marijuana? Is it cocaine? Is it pills? It has been. At times. All? At times. Whitney's battle with addiction was a roller coaster of highs and lows, from her candid interviews about her struggles to her multiple stints in rehab. Despite her efforts to get clean, the pull of addiction proved too strong, leading to her untimely demise in February 2012. In her own words, Whitney spoke openly about her ongoing struggle with drug addiction, shedding light on the painful reality of living with a mental illness. 18. Drew Barrymore with only 12 years under her belt, Drew Barrymore found herself catapulted into Hollywood stardom, becoming one of the most iconic child actors of all time. But fame came at a price, and Drew's journey took a dark turn as she became entangled in the web of substance misuse, earning her the title of one of the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history. In her memoir, Wildflower, Drew shares candid insights into her unconventional childhood and the challenges she faced growing up in the spotlight. From being introduced to partying and drugs at a young age, to spending time in a mental health institution, her journey is both heartbreaking and inspiring. Drew revealed that after rising to fame as a child actor, she struggled with alcohol at the age of 11, faced cocaine addiction at 12, and entered rehab following an attempt to take her own life at 13. Despite her efforts to stay clean over the years, a relapse occurred in 2016 following the failure of her third marriage. Despite her tumultuous upbringing and struggles with addiction, she has emerged as a resilient and successful actress, talk show host, and producer. After she shot the pilot of her show in 2019, she stopped drinking. Despite the hardships she faced, Drew's irrepressible spirit remains a beacon of hope for those struggling with addiction, proving that it's never too late to turn your life around. 17. Lindsay Lohan Lindsay Lohan's journey through Hollywood is a whirlwind tale of fame, 
Fortune, and a few too many missteps on the red carpet. From her breakout role in The Parent Trap to her wild nights on the town, Lindsay quickly became synonymous with the Hollywood party scene. Despite her early success, Lindsay's battle with drugs and alcohol took center stage, leading to multiple DUI arrests and stints in rehab. But even in the midst of her struggles as one of the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history, Lindsay managed to find moments of clarity and hope. She attended Alcoholics Anonymous meetings and sought out healthier habits like meditation and cooking. While her journey hasn't always been smooth sailing, Lindsay's resilience and determination shine through, reminding us that even the darkest nights can lead to brighter days. And with her recent comeback in a Netflix original movie, it seems like Lindsay is ready to put her troubled past behind her and embrace the future with open arms. So here's to Lindsay Lohan, a Hollywood starlet who's been through the ringer and comes out the other side stronger than ever. Let her story be a reminder that no matter how far you fall, there's always a chance to rise again. After all, in a town known for its glitz and glamour, sometimes it's the ones who stumble that shine the brightest. 16. Heath Ledger Heath's performance captivated audiences worldwide, earning him posthumous acclaim and an Academy Award. But behind the scenes, Heath struggled with stress and insomnia, turning to prescription drugs to cope. Heath's tragic demise in January 2008 shed light on the darker side of Hollywood fame, highlighting the pressures actors face and the dangers of substance abuse. Despite his talent and success, Heath became ensnared in a cycle of stress and addiction, ultimately succumbing to a fatal overdose of prescription medications. As one of the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history, Heath's story serves as a cautionary tale about the perils of fame and the importance of seeking help for mental health issues. His untimely death sparked intense media scrutiny and speculation. The actor Heath Ledger was found dead today in an apartment here in New York City. He was just 28 years old. But ultimately, it underscored the need for better support systems and awareness around mental health in the entertainment industry. While Heath's legacy lives on through his groundbreaking performances, his tragic end serves as a reminder of the toll that fame and fortune can take on even the brightest stars. 15. Macaulay Culkin From his breakout role in Home Alone to his legal emancipation from his parents at just 15, Macaulay's life has been a roller coaster of highs and lows. In 2004, during a police car search in Oklahoma, Macaulay, 24 at the time, gained international attention as he faced charges for possessing marijuana and a controlled substance without a prescription. His mugshot went viral. Speculations about the star's potential drug habit began circulating, raising concerns among fans about the state of his well-being. In 2012, online images of Macaulay appearing gaunt and frail further shocked fans. In a subsequent interview, the actor clarified the images, stating, No, I was not pounding six grand of heroin a month. He openly acknowledged his use of recreational drugs, referring to them as like old friends during a rare 2021 interview with Esquire. He also stated that one gets tired of old friends, hinting at turning over a new leaf in his life. Despite the challenges, he's emerged as a resilient figure in Hollywood, finding success on his own terms and carving out a niche for himself in the indie film scene. In recent years, Macaulay has starred in indie movies and founded his own rock band. He has proven himself to be a versatile talent with a knack for reinvention. 14. Johnny Depp While Captain Jack Sparrow and Edward Scissorhands captivated us on screen, off screen, Johnny Depp has had his own battles to fight. His dance with substance use disorder began early, with Johnny admitting to lighting up at just 11 years old. From there, it was a slippery slope into experimenting with drugs as a means to navigate the choppy waters of his turbulent childhood. Fast forward to the 90s, and Johnny's nightclub venture, The Viper Room, became the hottest spot in town. However, tragedy struck when actor River Phoenix overdosed at the club's entrance. Talk about a plot twist. While Johnny wasn't to blame, the media storm that followed might have pushed him further down the rabbit hole. And then there's the courtroom drama with ex-wife Amber Heard, where Johnny laid bare his struggles with drugs and alcohol, describing it as a form of self-medication for his troubled past. 
During the recent trial, it came to light that Johnny had received a diagnosis of primary dopamine imbalance, depression, ADHD, and chronic substance abuse disorder. It's common knowledge that Johnny Depp struggles with substance use disorders, particularly alcohol. He publicly confessed to Rolling Stone, I'm a dumbass and I poisoned myself for years in reference to his struggles with alcohol. Depp continued to use alcohol even after realizing it was a problem for him. This is a sentiment that is all too familiar to those who are struggling with addiction. And although he is a brilliant actor, unfortunately, because of this, he is also one of Hollywood's worst drug addicts. 13. Judy Garland Hollywood stars sparkle like diamonds, but even the brightest can have dark shadows. Take Judy Garland, for instance, whose iconic portrayal of Dorothy in The Wizard of Oz still enchants audiences today. Behind the curtain, Judy's life was like a terrifying roller coaster ride through Oz. Despite her fame, she faced her share of challenges, including a daunting IRS tax bill and struggles with alcohol and drugs. Her journey through Hollywood's golden era was marred by the silent struggles she faced off-screen. Seeking solace in substances, Garland grappled with the weight of her own stardom, a heavy burden that manifested in the shadows of substance use disorder. According to records, at 17, she was already using amphetamine and barbiturate. The pills and alcohol became a refuge, a precarious escape from the relentless demands and unforgiving expectations that accompanied her iconic status. As she sought solace in pills and alcohol, she spiraled into a battle with substance use disorder for years, making her one of the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history. 12. Philip Seymour We can't talk about the worst drug addicts in Hollywood history without mentioning the talented Philip Seymour Hoffman. His journey, albeit tragic, sheds light on the complexities of addiction and the challenges of recovery. His partner, Mimi O'Donnell, bravely shares their story, painting a vivid picture of their life together. Their artistic connection was undeniable, with Mimi recalling how seamlessly they worked together. But behind the scenes, Philip battled with addiction, a struggle he was open about. Despite his efforts in therapy and Alcoholics Anonymous, the demons of addiction lingered, a constant companion in his life. As Philip navigated middle age and faced various stresses, including the loss of friends and the turmoil within his own industry, the allure of substances crept back into his life. Mimi recounts the heartbreaking moment when she realized he had relapsed, a moment marked by red flags and difficult conversations. Despite her fears and warnings, Philip's battle with substance addiction ultimately led to his untimely death from combined drug intoxication in February 2014. Mimi's raw honesty about the pain and loss she experienced serves as a reminder of the devastating impact of drug addiction on individuals and their loved ones. 11. Marilyn Monroe A woman who was a symbol of femininity and Hollywood glamour, Marilyn Monroe, also found herself entangled in the world of prescription drugs. Her journey, while tragic, sheds light on the complexities of fame and addiction. Marilyn's insomnia, exacerbated by the pressures of fame and stage fright, led her down a path of dependency on barbiturates and other hypnotic drugs. Despite her desire to manage her sleep and look her best, her reliance on these substances grew, ultimately impacting her health and behavior. It's almost comical how Marilyn's doctors, prescribing a cocktail of psychoactive drugs, unwittingly contributed to her downward spiral. From barbiturates to amphetamines, the array of medications prescribed to her paints a picture of a woman caught in the throes of addiction. Even more absurd is the discrepancy between her doctor's claims and the toxicology reports revealing lethal concentrations of drugs not prescribed. It's like a scene from a Hollywood mystery with conflicting accounts and hidden truths. 10. Matthew Perry from 1994 to 2004, Matthew had us all in stitches with his witty one-liners on Friends. But little did we know, he was facing his own personal demons off-screen. It all started with a watercraft accident, leading to a prescription painkiller addiction that spiraled out of control. Despite near-death experiences, surgeries, and countless attempts at recovery, Matthew continued to grapple with his addiction. However, his radical honesty about his struggles became an inspiration to many. He saw helping others as a crucial step in his own journey to recovery. Sadly, Matthew's battle with addiction recently led to his untimely death at the age of 54. 
toxicology reports revealed a cocktail of drugs in his system, including buprenorphine and ketamine. Yet, amidst the tragedy, there's a glimmer of hope. Matthew's openness about his struggles turned his personal saga into a beacon of inspiration for others. 9. Kirsten Dunst Kirsten Dunst was a talent that swung between blockbuster hits like Spider-Man and the delicate artistry of indie films. But did you know she faced her own battle with substance addiction in her 20s? Navigating the demanding public spotlight, Kirsten, overwhelmed by the pressures and expectations placed on women in the industry, sought solace in alcohol and substances. She tried to cope with the emotional roller coaster by using drugs like ecstasy. At 27, Kirsten Dunst willingly entered rehab, acknowledging her struggle with prescription medication addiction. Confronting her challenges with courage, she sought assistance for both addiction and depression. Like a hero rising from the ashes, Kirsten emerged from rehab, displaying newfound strength and resilience. Now, at 41, Kirsten continues to shine in her career, starring in acclaimed films like The Power of the Dog. And while her stint in rehab may be public knowledge, Kirsten isn't afraid to speak out about the importance of mental health treatment and the role it played in her recovery. 8. Amy Winehouse Amy Winehouse's journey through the maze of addiction, as told by her ex-husband, Blake Fielder Civil, reads like a Hollywood blockbuster. Blake's revelation on The Jeremy Kyle Show about introducing Amy to hard drugs is like the plot twist nobody saw coming. What would have been her 40th birthday, her ex-husband, Blake Fielder Civil, feels he can no longer shoulder all the blame for her death. It's the moment when you realize the worst drug addict in Hollywood isn't just a character, it's a real-life tragedy unfolding before us. Our eyes. Their brief but intense dalliance with heroin and crack adds layers of complexity to their story, like a subplot in a gripping drama. But here's where the story takes a sharp turn. Blake's time behind bars becomes the catalyst for Amy's downward spiral. Blake's admission of guilt adds a poignant touch to the story, similar to a heartfelt confession in the climax of a legal drama. It's a moment of reckoning where the consequences of their actions come crashing down with full force. Yet amidst the chaos, there's a glimmer of hope. Amy's story serves as a powerful reminder of the resilience of the human spirit and the importance of seeking help in times of need. 7. John Belushi John Belushi's descent into drug addiction was a slow and steady spiral into darkness. It began, innocently enough, with occasional cocaine use in the early 1970s. But as time went on, his dependency grew stronger, consuming him like a ravenous beast lurking in the shadows. With each line of cocaine, the grip of addiction tightened around John's soul. The highs became fleeting moments of relief, while the lows stretched into endless abysses of despair. His once vibrant personality faded into the background, overshadowed by the insatiable hunger for his next fix. John's addiction reached its peak during the production of Neighbors, a time when he should have been celebrating success, but instead found himself drowning in the depths of his own addiction. The brief moments of sobriety were mere illusions, shattered by the relentless pull of cocaine's allure. As his dependency deepened, John's behavior became increasingly erratic and desperate. He wandered the streets of Los Angeles, chasing the elusive euphoria that cocaine promised but could never deliver. His pleas for money were met with suspicion and reluctance, yet he persisted, driven by the relentless cravings of the worst drug addict. In the end, John's addiction proved to be his undoing. The cocaine that once brought him moments of fleeting pleasure ultimately led to his untimely demise at the young age of 33. He died at the Chateau Marmont. Good evening, I'm Marty McNeely for WGN News. Comic actor John Belushi died today at a rented hotel bungalow in the Hollywood Hills. From a combination of heroin and cocaine known as a speedball. 6. Ike Turner. Ike Turner spiraled into the depths of drug addiction. As a result, his life became a tragic tale of destruction and despair. From the early days of his career to his untimely demise, Ike's addiction to cocaine consumed him like a relentless storm, leaving a trail of devastation in its wake. As the years passed, Ike's dependence on cocaine grew more insidious, weaving its way into every aspect of his life. 
What began as occasional use soon escalated into a full-blown addiction, with Ike unable to escape its suffocating grasp. Run-ins with the law and a tumultuous marriage to Tina Turner overshadowed his musical accomplishments, and his once bright career was overshadowed by the darkness of addiction. Ike was an unquestionably talented man, but his reputation as one of the pioneers of rock music was marred by his history as one of the worst drug addicts ever. His descent into addiction drained his finances, led to multiple arrests, and ultimately cost him his freedom. Ike's battle with addiction persisted despite his career being adorned with accolades and Grammy awards, leaving behind a tragic legacy. In the end, it was a lethal combination of cocaine toxicity, cardiovascular disease, and emphysema that claimed Ike's life. 5. Kate Moss. It began innocently enough, with whispers and rumors swirling around her alleged cocaine use. But as the scandal erupted in full force, Kate's world crumbled around her. The once glamorous facade of her life shattered, revealing the harrowing truth lurking beneath. With each passing day, the tension mounted as Kate faced mounting scrutiny and condemnation from the media and the public alike. The repercussions of her addiction reverberated through her career as esteemed fashion houses, severed ties, and lucrative contracts evaporated into thin air. As the pressure intensified, Kate found herself trapped in a relentless cycle of addiction, unable to break free from its suffocating grip. Despite attempts to salvage her reputation and make amends, the shadow of her addiction loomed large, threatening to eclipse everything she had worked so hard to achieve. But amid the chaos and turmoil, Kate remained resilient, determined to overcome the darkest chapter of her life. Through sheer strength and perseverance, she emerged from the depths of addiction, a survivor of her own worst demons. 4. Angelina Jolie it's hard to believe that Angelina Jolie was addicted to hard drugs in her youth. It may surprise you to learn that behind Angelina Jolie's serene exterior was a turbulent history clouded by addiction. As her former drug dealer Franklin Meyer revealed, in her early 20s, Angelina frequented him two or three times a week to purchase cocaine. But that was just the tip of the iceberg. Before tying the knot with Brad Pitt, Angelina openly confessed to her wilder days, admitting to experimenting with a cocktail of drugs that included cocaine, heroin, LSD, M, DMA, and ecstasy. Her reckless abandon knew no bounds as she delved deeper into the abyss of addiction, ultimately earning her the moniker of the worst drug addict in her Hollywood circle. Franklin's chilling footage, captured during a dark chapter in Angelina's life, provides a harrowing glimpse into the depths of her addiction. With bloodshot eyes and emaciated arms, Angelina's haunting figure paces the room. Sure, except, except, except he could have his own checkbook and would be very careful with it. Her desperate pleas for drugs echoing through the dimly lit space. According to reports, Angelina Jolie has long abandoned those unhealthy habits. 3. Steven Tyler Once hailed as the charismatic frontman of Aerosmith, Steven Tyler's rock and roll journey took a dark turn into the depths of addiction. Despite his initial experimentation with drugs, Steven spiraled into a whirlwind of substance abuse that saw him spending millions of dollars on cocaine and boasting about snorting half of Peru. Steven's descent into addiction was fueled by a reckless pursuit of highs, fueled by a cocktail of cocaine, heroin, methamphetamine, and LSD. In a candid interview, he admitted to indulging in excess, blinded by the allure of the rock star lifestyle. As Aerosmith soared to fame in the 1970s, Stephen's substance abuse problems escalated, exacerbated by the absence of proper avenues for help. With no rehab in sight, Stephen found himself trapped in a cycle of addiction, unable to break free from its grip. Reflecting on his turbulent past, Stephen acknowledged the devastating toll of addiction, lamenting how it clouded his judgment and obscured the brilliance of his band. Despite the temporary euphoria drugs provided, Stephen soon realized the grim reality of his situation. 2. Corey Haim Corey Haim's tragic descent into addiction is a stark reminder of the darker side of Hollywood's glittering facade. From his early years as a child star to his untimely demise at the age of 38, 
Corey's struggles with substance abuse were painfully evident. In a candid confession to The Sun, Corey revealed the harrowing extent of his addiction, recounting how he spiraled from drinking beer on the set of Lucas to experimenting with cocaine and eventually succumbing to crack. His battle with drugs consumed him, with his Valium intake reaching a staggering 85 pills a day, leaving doctors astounded. Despite attempts at rehabilitation, Corey's addiction persisted, leading to a tumultuous cycle of relapse and recovery. His story sheds light on the dark underbelly of Hollywood, where the allure of fame often masks the harsh realities lurking beneath the surface. Fellow actor Brooke McCarter attempted to intervene, but Corey's addiction proved insurmountable, prompting numerous stints in rehabilitation facilities. The toll of addiction weighed heavily on Corey, manifesting in erratic behavior and desperate attempts to maintain his sobriety. 1. Stephen King Hollywood wouldn't be the same without movies adapted from the chilling tales of Stephen King, but behind the scenes, the celebrated author battled his own demons with drug addiction. Stephen's struggle with cocaine addiction, which plagued him throughout the late 70s and early 80s, is a well-known part of his journey. It was during star-studded Hollywood parties that Stephen was introduced to cocaine, a fateful encounter that would exacerbate his addiction. His drug use soon spiraled out of control, impacting his work and personal life. Known for his prolific writing, Stephen would churn out massive novels like The Tommyknockers while under the influence, earning critical disapproval for his efforts. But Stephen's addiction wasn't limited to cocaine alone. He delved into a dangerous cocktail of drugs and alcohol, including marijuana, Xanax, Valium, and even recreational use of Listerine mouthwash and NyQuil. His relentless pursuit of highs knew no bounds, with two packs of cigarettes a day adding to his vices. Despite his literary success, Stephen's battle with addiction cast a shadow over his career. The urban legend of him writing Cujo in a drug-fueled weekend binge, only to have no recollection of it, speaks volumes about the extent of his addiction. Which one of these drug addiction stories has shocked you the most? Let us know in the comments. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more videos that we made, click on one on the screen or take a look at the channel. Thanks for watching and see you next time.